Welcome racers, this is Badgerman, and today I decided to jump onto my first GT7 daily race C. I've done one or two daily race A or B in the past um, with the starter cars, with the uh, Aquafit hybrid and what, what they're called. Um, wasn't very enjoyable because those races tend to be kind of boring. But daily race C for the first time is in the game, and uh, this is the car I'm going to use. It's the Audi Sport R8 LMS Evo, and this is the livery I'm going to use as well with the German flag over the rear tires, and just generally a really, really nice livery. Go and support Badger UK66. He made this beauty of a livery that I'll be using for this race. So here we are for the first race, and as you can see, surprisingly, to my own surprise at the time, I started on pole position. I do not have a replay of my qualifying lap, unfortunately, because I didn't record it, and I didn't, I, I didn't think that it was going to remain my fastest lap, the 45.9. I thought I would improve a bit more. Didn't, and so don't have anything to show, but uh, yeah, let's get in, start from pole position in my very first daily race C on GT7, and um, it's it's gonna be interesting for sure. One thing I knew going in, as I think two people left, uh, we are 18 in this race, one thing I knew was that this was gonna be a fuel saving race. It was about fuel saving, and um, if the, who can fuel save the most? will likely win, as long as they're also quick. And so we went six immediately. And let's actually go around a lap of this circuit, the Daytona 24-hour layout, the Daytona road course, as it's known in the game, with the infield in it and the bus stop chicane. It's a beautiful track. I really, really like it. I've been wanting this track on GT for the longest time. I've been wanting this on GT Sport. We finally got it on GT7. I'm not complaining, I'm very happy about this combo as well. The GT3s suit this track very well. And uh, yeah, you saw turns one and two there. We get through the chicane into the uh, hairpin of turn four. Then we move around really, really slow corner, agonizingly slow. And I realized, hey, I need to put up the fuel, so quickly did that. Uh, through the kink of turn five and into turn six, heavy braking zone again. Tricky corner to get right because it's sort of, you know, it, it's got multiple apexes, I feel like. So you don't know which one to take, the early one, the late one, both. It's tricky. Now the left-hander to get back onto the oval. We're starting at 100 kilometers an hour and we're going to reach 260. So that tells you how much of an acceleration zone this is oval this part of the oval is getting back onto it and then into the bus stop chicane that is really really tricky to get right because the game allows you to use a lot of grass the game allows you to use a lot there and even there it allows you a lot so i didn't get the best of exits here but that's okay you know that's fine and we head back on the oval all the way to the start finish line where we started the first lap and I didn't do a good job of fuel saving as you can see we started with about 99% of fuel we ended the lap on about 79 it should be 78 by the time we get there nope still 79 not a good job on fuel saving really not but here we are then on lap two we are in the infield lap two and i made a mistake here i break way too early surprisingly the slovakian behind me did not run into my back i fully thought at the time why did he not run into my back completely bamboozled by myself i missed the breaking point for this corner run too wide and well i sent the slovakian a beautiful invitation with ribbon and he takes that of course he goes up the inside and I say, you know what? Okay, you go past. Um, Got to make the best of a bad situation. I'm saving some fuel in his slipstream. And he just goes on. And yeah, that worked for about one straight and, and two corners. Because I slightly 
mess up the bus stop, I go very hesitantly, and I still had to figure out that um, at the time, because again, this was my first race, my first daily race on this track, so I had to figure out that it's very important to get the exit right out of the bus stop chicane because you have such a high acceleration zone right after, and so I lost touch with him a little bit. Never got the slipstream back, but he got a penalty here on lap five as we are about to pit, and I'm really close to him. Half a second, maybe. Fastest pit stop in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, and we are back on track, and all of a sudden I'm seven seconds behind him. What just happened? What is going on? How did I lose six and a half seconds just in the pit lane? Well, I, f I found out, I realized later on, during the editing process, not even in the race or after the race directly, in the editing process, I figured out he didn't pit for tires. He only pitted for fuel. He did not change his tires. I did. So that was my mistake. Larry, meanwhile, causing a yellow flag here. Gap goes down from 17 seconds to about five, so... We don't have to worry about him at the end of the day because he and FIFA and P1 have not pitted yet. So we don't have to worry about him because they will still have to pit. And so, yeah, I really messed this up um, with the tire change, but I didn't even realize. Or did I mess it up with the tire change? We're on lap seven. FIFA is now down to P6. He pitted and Larry is outside the top eight. So don't know where exactly he ended up. Two more drivers quit the race. We're down to 16 as well. And not much happened really afterwards. Um, you know, we tried to close the gap to the Slovakian in the lead. And, uh, you know, I think we did a decent job at closing it, but you can only do so much. Seven seconds is a lot of time to make up in five laps. And so we've got the fastest lap. You can see that now, lap 10. We got the fastest lap with a 146.6 on lap eight. But in the end, it's 4.8 seconds, and I'm actually saving some fuel here because I'm worried that I might not make it to the line. So, uh, you know, being a bit cautious here, 3%, 2%, 1%, and we cross the line, and it's about 5 seconds, 4.99, that we finish behind the leader and the winner, and in P2. But for my first race on GT7 in Daily Race C, I think that's good. I think that's really, really good. I will gladly take P2. Especially, look at the gap to P3. That's another 17 seconds, is what that was. Now we go on to the second race. And that one was a bit more eventful, I can tell you that much. We start in P4. We have an Irishman, an Italian, and a Portuguese driver in front. And a Brit, another Portuguese, and a Spaniard behind. Pay close attention to the Irishman, the Italian, and the Brit. Those three are going to play. And the South African as well. You didn't... Okay, it's too late now. Sorry. But uh, there is a uh, South African, uh, Nilo Viper. And he will play a bit of a role as well. So those are your main characters for this race. As the Portuguese in front actually disconnected before the race even started. So a bit unfortunate there. But, uh, well, it's a position for me, so I will gladly take that. But yeah, unlucky for him. And uh, we immediately fuel save, of course, because we have to. It's basically required. And once again, we're going to go for the first lap. I'm going to show you the first lap in full, and I'm going to show you the highlights um, remaining from the other nine laps, if there were any. But I can tell you, there were some. There were quite a few highlights, and for some drivers in this lobby, probably low lights as well. But we start, and uh, we're not going for any silly moves, we're just going to try to stay with everyone. It's early in the race, lap one, we just started. You can't win a race in turn one, but you can certainly lose it, and we don't intend to do that, so we're staying close. And hoping that we can maybe ditch P4 immediately. Can't really do that, but we actually slightly missed the break marker there breaking point there but we get a good exit and i'm trying to ditch uh, looking behind even to uh try and ditch the brit xenos in p4 it's not quite working though have to be a bit cautious here got a car in front of me don't want to run into the back of him 
and a bit of a shuffling around with the South African and the Portuguese in the back five and six try to get a good exit here very very important and uh, yeah speaking of good exit Simone the Italian didn't get the best of exits got a tank slapper on and decided to overcorrect and end up in the wall so that's a position for us immediately was a bit distracted by that but uh, you know we move and in fact I was so distracted by that I fully mess up the bus stop chicane and Xenos in P3 decides to barge his way through as if I don't exist I'm surprised he didn't get a penalty for that because that was quite a harsh maneuver there he fully accepted the contact there he was like yeah sure I'll barge my way through if I have to okay well we're down to P3 again, so we win some, we lose some, and we, we certainly lost some there. But that's okay, nothing much more happened. P2 and P1 switched positions, Zeno's in the lead now, Stardust in second. The South African fell off another two seconds from me. 4.3, 4.2, 4.3, the gap as we enter the pits. And once again, the fastest pits up in the world. God, I love my pit crew. They're so good. And we come out, and all of a sudden, the South African's pit crew was better than mine. Two seconds behind him. We lost another six and a half seconds there to the South African. And once again, he didn't change tires. I did. We start lap seven, and, um, you know, the happenings occur. We get our first... Shadow Realm entry of the video, and it's happening right there. The Irishman spins off and enters the Shadow Realm. Now, later on in the lap, it got even weirder. We had another Shadow Realm entry, but for a different reason. Uh, not so much spinning off. We go through the... And look at the bus stop chicane, the way I take it, right? Perfect. Perfect. Well, except for that half a second penalty. Go back and tell me, you tell me, because I have no idea, you tell me where I got that half a second penalty from and why I got that. Because you can cut a lot more from that chicane than I did there, and I got a half a second penalty. It was silly. But there's the other Shadow Realm entry. It's a penalty Shadow Realm entry for the Brit, and he served a much bigger penalty. Here's what happened. This is the replay. Uh, the Brit Charles, this is his uh, driver name, and the Irishman, Moto Max Dean, that's uh, Stardust, and he just barged him off and got a fall and barged him off again and barges him off again. And we see here there's the spin. So you tell me who's at fault. I don't know if anything happened prior, but either this was complete revenge from the Brit, Xenos. Who also left the race shortly after. He didn't even finish the race. Or whether, you know, that was just him being aggravated, wanting the position and driving dirty. I don't understand, but uh, yeah, that doesn't fly. Anyway, we start lap 9. South African's still in the lead. He didn't pit for tyres, only for fuel. And the lack of grip really showed on that one. And if you click the thumbnail... If you saw the thumbnail, then you may realize it really wasn't my fault. I did not cause this. That wasn't me. It was just his tire wear that made him lose the car there into turn one, turn two. And uh, the gap remained about 3.7 seconds to the Irishman in P2. And we cruise home for our first victory on GT7. And I am so, so happy that it happened so early. Uh, Key 25, if you're watching, I got my first win before you did yours. <laughs> Sorry. It is a bit of a, no, I wouldn't say rivalry. It's a friendly rivalry uh, there. I, I like to pick fights with any uh, British GT7 content creators. So, you know. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's a win, and I'll I'll celebrate that. I'll gladly take that. You can find me here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below uh, what you think 
uh, I should do next uh, if you want to see more daily races. The setup, by the way, was from Key himself. So for all the shit talking, he did a great setup. Link will be in the description down below. I also stream on Twitch fairly regularly. I'm trying to stream more GT7 as well. So make sure to follow me on Twitch. Link is down in the description below as well. And with that, thank you very much for watching. With the winner's screenshot there, 3.8 seconds ahead of P2. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.